Is it 18 minutes to five? And wherever you are in the county, keeping up to date on the weather situation. Next update on the travel front is at a quarter to five. However, staying on the same theme, volunteers from various branches of Dartmoor and Exmoor Search and Rescue have just returned to Devon after helping out in the north of England with all the flooding there. Well, among them is Dave Close, who works with the Ashburton branch. Dave's on the line. Uh, what was it like? What, what were you doing? Hi, Matt. Yeah, um, good to speak to you today. And Thanks you. For, uh, for having us on. Um, we were asked to go up um, as part of a national response. Um, the, the North East um, uh, weren't able to apply the resources that they needed to, to deal with the, the flooding up there. So um, we had a, a quick conversation uh, down here in the southwest and yep. uh, managed to pull together 49 members um, from across five teams within the, the peninsula. Uh, and headed up there on Sunday afternoon to uh, to assist with their with their efforts. I guess, Dave, uh, for you and those teams, you say forty nine members, which is you know uh, a, a quite a force really from from the southwest area. You were halfway through your Christmas celebrations with family or friends, and this was Sunday afternoon, wasn't it, that you decided to go? Yes, indeed. Um, the, um, the the members that went, it, it, as you say, it's, it's quite a force. Um, uh, we left. Um, uh, we left behind uh, a number of individuals um, who were able to provide cover for the region, so we weren't leaving ourselves short um, from that perspective. But I think there's a general willingness overall to help out um, yeah. in, in situations of need. Um, and uh, quite often um, family um, not come second, but they certainly understand the pressing priorities and the need to help others. And so uh, we went with their blessing. Goodness me. They, they must have very understanding wives and girlfriends and partners. That's, uh, that's all I can say. What happened then, Dave, when, when, you, when you got there? What did you witness and, and what did you have to do? Well, um, when we first arrived on the Sunday evening, we were, um, we were first of all diverted to a, a community centre in, in a part of York um, that wasn't affected by the flooding. It was a, a dry area. Um, and it had been arranged for us to be fed um, uh, by the community centre. And this is just individuals that had heard we were coming up yeah. and taking it upon themselves to open up um, a community centre and essentially cook for us. So um, everybody that arrived late, <clears throat> excuse me, on the on the Sunday evening, mm. um, after a long uh, six six seven hour journey up from the southwest, um, uh, were fed. Um, it was quite overwhelming, actually. Not only did we not expect it, but um, uh, we were applauded into the community centre. Um, were you really? Because, because we'd come up, I know, fantastic. Just blown away by it, really blown away. I was going to say, how did, um, you, how did that moment feel? You, you walked in to a round of applause. Well, uh, appreciated, which, um, uh, which was quite nice. <laughs> that's, ama- <laughs> we, that's just amazing. And, and, and yet you, you'd only just arrived. I mean, with all due respect, you hadn't done anything at that point. Exactly. So it was a little bit of pressure in terms of making sure that we, uh, we fulfilled um, our duties and made sure we helped them out, but I yeah. think it was just genu- I think it was genuine relief and appreciation from the local community really that additional resources were coming in because the the ones that from York um, were had been so stretched and were and were racing around trying to deal with all sorts of um, emergencies and uh, high priority so from so from there you went on to to do what so the following day then we were tasked for the next two days we were, we always knew that we were going to be up there for two days so for the Monday and the Tuesday. We did um, almost 12-hour um, shifts, basically, of, of being um, around, helping out the statutory services with their uh, with their requirements, which which mainly um, revolved around going to uh, areas within the the York City uh, environment, um, urban-based environments, and assisting statutory services with evacuation of people from buildings, um, welfare checks, um, moving assets around, people around. Um, delivering um, items and so on and so forth, but also out in the rural communities as well, in the isolated communities, we we had um, two days really of, of of guys out and about outside of the uh, the city itself, going to remote farmhouses, um, to villages, to hamlets and so on and so forth. Some that had been completely cut off and were marooned essentially um, for, because of flood water, and therefore vehicles weren't able to get through. So. The advantage we had was uh, being foot teams and also having inflatable boats, etc. We could get to them, check they were all right, um, provide them with assistance if they needed it, mm. and then and then escalate for uh, additional resources or even just straightforward food and water to be brought to them where they'd been identified. Because additionally, the the phone system went down in York um, uh, at that time because the telephone exchange had been flooded. So. Yeah. About forty five thousand um, resident properties um, had no landline. Um, so they were they were they were struggling. Yeah, um, 
What about the people you met? You you often find, and in, in fact, um, we spoke to a member of the of the RNLI who just returned from uh, Cumbria, I think it was, uh, a couple of weeks ago on this show. And, you know, he was talking about the kinds of people that, that he'd met, um, those who needed help, who needed uh, rescuing. And uh, some of the conversations are quite, you know, strange conversations that, mm. that you have when you get them into a boat or you pick them up and you rescue them and, and take them out of out of danger. Who, who did you meet a- along the way, Dave? Myself, personally, I, I wasn't deployed on the ground. I was in the control aspect okay. of it. So um, uh, dealing with tasking and uh, and. and uh, identifying areas for our resources to go to, but certainly some of the um, the guys that have come back and, and we've had a chat afterwards have um, uh, talked about a general um, uh, willingness to, to be involved um, w- with other areas uh, despite their own woes. Um, there were several people who were trying to organise for food parcels for um, other villages and yet they were under three feet of water themselves because they were either used to that environment or it didn't really bother them you know yeah. typical Yorkshire spirit they were <laughs> very, very straightforward with it all and you know oh, this, this, you know, this, this is just a drop of water kind of thing you know and, and, and away they went so yeah there are a few a few funny isms that, that, that our guys have got um, uh, and I know certainly there were uh, a few uh, evacuations of, of young people and old people with um, with pets um, uh, that made the national press, uh, yeah. and there was a lot of concern for that. Obviously, um, you know, the human factor—you kind of knuckle down and get on with it. But animals don't really have that choice, uh, and so you've, uh, you've come you've after. come back to Devon uh, to much better weather and conditions, haven't you? I mean, it's just a bizarre sort of like a busman's holiday. Comparatively speaking, yes. But yes. Obviously, with the, with the weather the way it is at the moment, and the um, and the forecasts, um, one of the reasons we we had identified that we could only really spend a couple of days up there. Um, was because there was a weather system coming in, and we may we may need to be back here. Of course, and obviously our, our primary um, commitment is to the local area which is where we're from, um, and so uh, commitments there uh, override other things. So we were able to spend some time away. We were able to help out. Obviously, we're back now, and um, uh, and we can focus on our own county. Well, uh, of course, we hope that uh, you don't get called out overnight. But as uh, David Brain uh, mentioned to me about 20 minutes ago, it seems like this rain's going to continue through the night. And, of course, the rivers uh, won't yet peak until the early hours of, of tomorrow morning. So, Dave, I, I hope we don't need your services. But um, if we do, you're there. Absolutely. Glad to have you back safe and sound. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for joining Thanks us. Very and, much. Uh, happy New Year, if that's the right phrase to be using in all this uh, all this terrible weather. And to you too and all your listeners. Thank Thanks you. Dave Close there uh, with the Ashburton branch of the Dartmoor and Exmoor Search and Rescue Team. 